like the, the game. Welcome to another episode of Athletes Unplugged, sponsored by GEICO. Today we're talking about middle blockers, so we had to bring on Molly McCage. I feel like middles get a bad rap for being in the way, man. Yes. Y'all get the short end of the stick on that one. Oh, but, yeah. Or maybe sometimes like the stereotype that middle blockers aren't athletic. But from what you showed us, you got to be able to move. Absolutely. So middles always, it's like, surprise, we got a defensive move. Like, yay, <laughs> it's so great, which we need to stop. But also, yeah, we do need to react very quickly in the right way. And I do think we don't get enough credit for it because the action is happening so fast in the middle of the court and we need to be moving both directions, not just one direction like our pins. Can you tell me about what is the toughest thing about being a middle that maybe people don't know? Read blocking is by far the toughest part of being a middle blocker because you're right in the middle of the court, the setter's you know, right across the net and right next to you and you need to you know, in perfect situation, perfect pass and everything, the setter can have four, sometimes five options coming at you and you need to be able to react fast to get all the way to the pin or wherever and get over the net in a good spot for your defense to read behind you. It all happens and I think it's less than a second. It's like 0.7 or something. They did a study about it. Really? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. It's insane. And you're looking at some of the most minute details that that setter might be giving away. What are some of the things that obviously we can't see whether you're in the stands or on TV, but that you can see being right there up close? Sure. So if you were to draw a box like right over the setter's head, you have to look at everything in that box. So that has to be like, maybe the chin goes back. That means she's setting back. Maybe she's out here contacting it. That means you're going forward, like she's setting forward, you're going to the outside. It's it's all Those are about- just inches though. Inches, <laughs> yeah. Whatever information that she can give me in that little box, like I know where the ball is going. It's, it is minute, but it's yeah. so helpful to pick up on those that to be strategic and to get ahead of the game a little bit because you just don't have enough time. Yeah. Do you think you guys are the most detail-oriented position on the floor? I mean, from what you just described, we're talking inches there. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think for read blocking that category, absolutely. Yeah. Details, probably setters, because setters are like the puppet masters of the, <laughs> you know, but but after that, I think you middles. guys. Yeah. The one thing I do feel bad about is what happens to y'all's fingers. Is that just, you accepted that long ago? <laughs> I think it's a rite of passage for middle blockers. Like if you don't have a broken finger, like you're just not there What are you yet. doing? Yeah, right? Like just keep working. <laughs> How many times do you think you've either jammed or broken your fingers? Jammed? Like once a game. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, broken? that makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the game. Broken, I've broken three and had surgery on two. And then plates are like metal on the inside? Yeah, there's a plate in both. And then, um, so a total of 12 screws, two plates. So 14 pieces of metal in my hands. I know, I was joking with you earlier, like how do you get through an airport? <laughs> with all that inside. I know all the jewelry is just like on the inside of my fingers. Yep. I know, and they can't see it. All your bling. Just Robin. Just doesn't get to shine. Yeah. <laughs> What's more rewarding to you? A big time stuff block or maybe when you're in the back row and you just have a dime of a pass? Oh, that's a really good question because I freaking love just like surprising people, right? Like I guess everybody expects us to get blocks and blocks are my favorite. Yeah. But lipping someone in the back row and people are just like, <laughs> the libero never left, you know? <laughs> like that's super fulfilling. Yeah, because we can play defense. Come on, we do it all Absolutely. the time. Absolutely. Yeah. So when you do get those stuffed blocks, what's your go-to celebration? Like what is that instinctually that you do to react on the floor? It's like full Hulk, like, like veins <laughs> out just like, <laughs> like chin down, like flexing as much as I can. I don't know, there's something so like, ah, uh, Hulk about it. Like, yes! <laughs> I feel like if you've never had that, have something to like release that energy, a great way to do it is to get a block in volleyball. <laughs> I highly suggest it. You guys should do that sometime. <laughs>